Right now, I feel so angry. I feel like just telling my husband to stop paying our medical aid premiums and just send the money to me so that I can invest it. It's quite scary if you look at the figures like we could be millionaires in a short space of time. We could make multiple millions in a short space of time just from those premiums. So just look at uh, this example. So I went on to the discovery website and then I chose like their average option. So I went for the classic saver option. And you know that this premiums, they keep increasing every single year. And normally with your medical aid, sometimes they don't even pay for all the bills. Like some of them, you'll have to pay them yourself. They don't cover everything yet. You are paying every single month. And if you skip, then you are no longer covered. So on the Classic Saver plan, the main member pays 4182 an adult pays 3299 and then a child is 1676 So let's take that you are a family of three, husband, wife, and a child. So obviously this premium is going to go up if it is like maybe two children, three children. And then, so you are paying this amount per month, almost 10000 per month. And did you know that if you were to take this money and invest it yourself, and let's say maybe it is getting you like 10% per annum and this amount is going to be compounded compounding means that uh when you get uh when you get the interest the interest is added to your contributions and then now another interest gets added again it's like you are not withdrawing it and this is what the medical aids are also doing when they get your contribution they go and invest the money and make a return on that money so this is what they are getting which you are not going to be getting because once you put in that money, it's a sunk cost, like you'll never get it back again. So if you pay, let's say for 18 years, in 18 years, the total contributions that you would have made is 1.9 million, 1,977,912 rents. Just imagine those are the contributions in 18 years. And guess how much interest, if it's at 10%, you could have made three three million five hundred and twenty one thousand four hundred and forty five and so it means that this interest is being made by who it's being made by the likes of the discovery by the likes of these insurance companies and the future value or what it will be worth after eighteen years to your contribution plus your interest is going to be five million four hundred and ninety nine thousand three hundred and fifty seven this is what you could have saved yourself, but you can't save yourself because you are paying it over to someone else in case if you end up in hospital. Because I know in my, in my case, uh, for, for, I've only just been to hospital for uh, a minor operation on the hand, which was not covered, and also to give birth to two children. That's like cost how much? Maybe around forty thousand or twenty twenty four, and it's a natural delivery, which is a bit um, which is a bit cheaper. I've only spent forty thousand, but look how much has gone out. How much one could have invested and could have saved. And then they say, obviously, if you are working, you are going to have uh, to be paying insurance for for the remainder of the time that you'll be working and also maybe if you are going into pension because i know the company i used to work for they used to force us to have medical aid and the medical aid was being run by them it was like it was compulsory to have their medical aid so let's say you contribute for like 40 years you would have contributed uh, around four million three hundred and ninety five thousand three hundred and sixty rands and then the interest, guess how much it's going to be? The interest is going to be 53,514,236 rand. Just imagine, and that's how much these insurance companies, medical aid schemes end up making from the contributions that we are contributing. That is how they are making a profit that could have been coming to us as a result of compound interest. But it's like the middle class is supposed to be broke. They are never supposed to be rich. That is why there's all these compulsory things that they have to be investing towards. All these medical aids, all these insurances, everything is meant to take money out so that they never become 
wealthy. Just look at how ridiculous this is. 53 million worth of interest, and you maybe you'll end up paying this money for even 60 years, depending on how long you live. And every year it's going to be going up. And I did not even factor for for the inflation and also the money that you'll have to pay out of pocket because the medical aid does not cover. So the future value of this amount is going to be 57 million, 909 and 596 rand. So it just makes me angry to see that there's been many things that have been designed to make the middle class poor because the public facilities are there. One could be using the public facilities if they were run in a good condition and not having to be paying for medical aid while one is still paying for taxes, high taxes that are being taken from the middle class and the high class is just so ridiculous. I think this one, especially the medical aid one, just makes me um, quite, quite angry. Like, it's, is it really even about our health? Is your health ever going to cost like 53 million? Like, is it ever going to reach that stage? Because after a while of being in hospital, they'll say that your medical aid funds have run out. Like, is it really, really an investment towards your health? So what are your views when it comes to medical aid? I think it's good to have medical aid. Uh, we still have it, but I'm not sure for how long, but it's good to have um, medical aid. It's good to have... Uh, cash if there's operations or something happens it's it's good but it's just also good to have this picture to understand what is happening to your money someone is getting rich someone is making 10 times more than what you've made just through your money because they know where to invest the money stay blessed